Hey guys, so this game is called Heroes of the Monkey Tavern, and I don't think I've seen anything on this game. Uh, the only thing I know about it is it is like a dungeon crawler game. Uh, <laughs> pretty much that's it, but it is on PC, and it just came out for the PS4. This is the demo version, so we're going to see what it's all about. I feel like I've seen the logo before, but... Hours begins in the tavern. The monkey tavern. Where four heroes... Yes, four great heroes are spending their money. A few days ago, they were rich. Now they're poor. But... It was a few days ago. Now they even have to sell their precious equipment to keep the party going. Until there is nothing to sell. And then comes a man who will change the turn of this masquerade. Hey guys! I heard your stories. You seem to be four strong heroes. Who could accept something challenging? Because I know a place where you will find tremendous treasures. I'm down. But I have to warn you, they're all terrible. But our heroes do not bother to talk anymore. They thirst for adventure. All right, I'm interested. Please, please do not be a turn by turn. That is all I'm asking. Priest uh, heals his teammates like no one else. They say that at a high level, he will learn to resurrect them. Although he is not a warrior, he can easily handle a mace. Hmm. Elementist. Cloth uh, has attained the whole magical knowledge of this world in order to perform the most powerful attacks on his enemies. This is obviously barbarian. Light barbarian represents the power of music during the battle. He is specialized in axes and he is trained hard enough. He will be able to handle two weapons at a time. When barbarian's health is low, he will become berserk, increasing the damage inflicted. Uh, warrior, heavy warrior, is the war machine of this world. He can skillfully handle any weapon or armor and use a shield. I'm kind of down for the priest. I like her. She's pretty. Okay, we'll go with that. And then... I really do like the rogue, though. I'm always a rogue. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with that. Oh, I still have three points left. Okay, uh, intelligence... Uh, strength, dexterity. Mm. Dexterity is super important for a rogue, so we're gonna go with that. Oh my. Well. Ooh. No. So. <laughs> I am using 
the D-pad to move, which I do not like at all. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. This this can't be right. Um Oh dear. This is not good. Okay guys, so I had to look up the controls because I could not figure out what I'm supposed to do. So you use uh obviously D-pad up, uh right and left, and then back. So that's how you move. And then to rotate, you do the uh, R1 and L1. So that took me forever. And then to open the door, you walk up to the area and press X, I do believe. So I'm gonna try it again because I thought that's what I pressed. Okay, excuse me, you press square. So, um, yeah. Oh dear, I hope this is not a puzzle because I am not ready for this type of commitment. Okay, so let's walk over here. Let's press square. Okay, so yeah, so it is square to open the door. Ooh, that looks... Um, so I wonder if that means that there is going to be... Something coming up. This play style of like having to turn the camera is like insane. Um, so let's press key. And let's put it in his pocket, I guess. And then health potion. Let's give it to her. And let's open that. And oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, so I'm uh, freaking out a little bit. Come here, buddy. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, I am... I am certainly in trouble. There we go. Working better than the knife, I guess. Come on. The, I wish he had a health bar. That's good she automatically takes that. Okay, that took like way way too long. Like... And now that everybody is about to die... That is like super difficult. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter who had the key as long as somebody is 
holding the key. I need some like health potions like super badly. Ooh, mana. Oops. My work. Oh, so that's the a robe. Armor. Let's see, who has we're gonna put it on him and then we're gonna give the mana potion to her. And then I think that's it. So like it's kind of cool to maneuver this way, but it is extremely strange. Okay, so that's just a circle. Like, I am not used to this at all. No. 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 Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, let's give it to him. And then... Oh gosh. He's dead. And he's dead. Okay. And she's dead. <laughs> okay, well, that's... that's it. <laughs> this is extremely difficult. Like, I think if you had one person, it would even be, like, easier. So, okay, the tr um, R2 and L2, that's how you control, like, who, which person, like, you're controlling. Um... Okay, so I think I have been here. Now I'm like super confused. Um. So I wonder where the spider was. Something is out of place. Please don't be something. Like a creature. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gladiator sandals. Let's put that on you, I guess. And then it does not provide much protection, but it's so trendy. Let's put this on you, I guess. Oops. Okay. And then... So that was a good find. So we're gonna save that, because I may not be able to find that again. Oh my gosh. So it could be a trap. This looks mildly suspicious. Only one who knows will be at peace. Uh, 
Okay, I... Whew. To be continued, yes. That is basically how I feel about this game. <laughs> I don't know if I dare. Uh, this is pretty tough. I'd be curious to know what their controls are for um, the PC because it does, like using the D-pad to move around definitely feels like the, like the keyboard, not, you know, um, like the joysticks or whatever. So yeah, if you guys like this game, it is on the PlayStation 4. It's also on PC and I think it's like under 10 bucks. So that's not too bad. Definitely going to take some getting used to, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.